great Saturday. <laughs> Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Oops. <laughs> Hi everybody. Hi. Okay. I am so excited today. Well, I'm always excited, right? Welcome to Cooking from the Food Bank. I am so excited about this recipe. This recipe is guess what we're making, y'all. You see what all this is? I got crab, chicken, Louisiana hot link sausage, shrimp, mm -mm -mm. what's over here, and okra, y'all. Oh, I forgot the rice. Also, we have rice <laughs> from the food bank. Um, guess what we're making? We're making gumbo, we're making gumbo, we're making gumbo. Okay, I'm showing you this packet because my brother from Monroe, Louisiana sent this to me as a quick base. I've used it. Um, it's pretty good. It's not that high in sodium, but because I'm watching my sodium, we're going to make our own roux. And we're going to add red pepper we got from the food bank. Now, this is my own recipe. I know traditionally you don't add red pepper, but I'm adding red pepper, carrots, kind of our onions, lots of onions, all the way from the food bank in our community grocery box, and celery. These are all staples from the food bank, y'all, that we get, that we have in our refrigerator. So gumbo's all about putting everything in there. And then I, I started this trick a couple of years ago when I was making gumbo and I add at the very end clam juice and then I also have my own seafood stock but I'm gonna use this chicken stock and always be aware y'all of what the sodium content and so I recommend low sodium or no salt added um, chicken stock or make your own that you can control the sodium so I'll be using chicken stock, I'll be using clam juice, and then of course we have to have the filet. And actually, you know y'all, I know a lot of people frown at okra, but you cannot have gumbo without okra. Okra is so high in fiber and nutrition, and also it acts really as a thickener. You know that slimy stuff when you put in gumbo, it actually just thickens it. Also, I'm going to lightly fry I'm mean, gonna probably cut this up into pieces and lightly fry the chicken wings. And that flour will also act as a thickening, a thickening agent for our gumbo. And then I don't have it, you know, the roux is the oil and the flour. I'll show you that whole step and what else. And then of course I picked up Dungeness Crab from Costco. Okay y'all, cooking from the food bank. Gumbo, two gumbos. Sausage and chicken gumbo and a seafood gumbo, all with our beautiful, wonderful African vegetable okra. I love some okra. All right, y'all, it's about time. Yeah, we're making gumbo. We're making gumbo. We're making gumbo. <laughs> I call this our trio, y'all, our cooking 
from the food bank trio. I think there's a French word for it, but anyway, <laughs> celery, carrot, onion. Celery, carrot, onions. The basis for so many things, y'all, and we get this every week in our food bank bag. To cut down on time, I do have these frozen um, crushed garlic that I get from Trader Joe's and they're so great you keep them in the freezer and you just pop them out so I'll be using just a little bit of garlic in the gumbo um, in this frozen to save time thing about gumbo you know you can go by a recipe or you can just throw whatever vegetables you have I also will be adding parsley I think that's the only other thing you don't see you can always add dry parsley and then of course our wonderful okra so if you don't have fresh parsley you can always use you know dried herbs are always good let's get chopping maybe 10 maybe 12 okra and of course you can put as many or as less as you want um, and you can cut them any size you want, but I actually pre-cooked these with the gumbo filet. And so they, they really do dissolve completely. So I kind of make them, I don't know, you can take a look. Maybe about that size. Can you see that, y'all? Last but not least, between the carrots and the red pepper, these are things that I like. I think I saw something that you could just push this in. Ooh. <laughs> I guess it works. <laughs> to saute and saute everything. Saute the sausage, saute the onions and the and the okra. Mise en place, mise en place to the stove, to the stove. Because I've already brined this in onion powder and pepper flakes, I'm going to lightly dust it with flour and get it ready to brown. Okay, I also want to let you all know I sanitized the um, separate board. I use this board only for meats. And um, so I just did that from the chicken. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to probably add three more sausages. I just have them in the freezer, but I probably will add three more. I think we're finished with all our cutting and I think because I'm kind of tired <laughs> the shrimp are going to go in with the shell and everything I am not going to de-shell all right to the stove okay now we start the sauteing and I'm going to use um, avocado oil you can use any oil you want the celery Now is it time to put in my quick garlic, frozen crushed garlic. Alright, and I'll put this back in the freezer. And I want them to be really soft anyway. Put that right into the gumbo pot. Mmm, smells so good, y'all. So good. Our gumbo's getting started, y'all. That's the basis. Yummy. Put the dry parsley in now. And then I'll add fresh parsley later. All right, y'all. If you have fresh parsley, you put that in at the end. Dry, you put it in with your other vegetables. All right, y'all. Okay, you really don't need to put very much oil, but I just kind of don't want it to brown, so I'm putting just a little bit of oil in my non-stick skillet on medium, just to kind of heat through the already cooked sausage. Get our gumbo pot. And pour it right in the gumbo pot, just like that. Right. 
So with the oil from the sausage, we're going to put in the okra. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. We're going to kind of just make a paste. You'll we'll see. Now I know this is my way of doing things. I like it because it just, it really breaks down the okra so that it's really more like a thickener when it's in the gumbo and you, you don't even really see it. I know some people freak out over okra, even though I have gotten a palette like I love it now. I think you can put cut it and set it in vinegar water or something. I don't be bothered with it. I like, I like the thickening agent. Okay, so the paste we're gonna make, this is where I put literally all of the filet. I might add filet a little bit better, but I like to kind of heat up my filet. Does that make sense? I just think anything dry like this, I just like to give it a big boost before. Ooh, I'm almost out. Oh no. <laughs> a lot of filet, y'all. See how much? That's a lot. That's what I mean. I'm making a paste. And what is, what, y'all, what is gumbo filet? What is it? That's the first leaf. Wow. And so that's why I kind of like to hydrate it, if you will, even though this is a fine powder. Sassafras leaves. Who would have thought? And literally, this just takes, oh, let me put a little bit more oil. Make it more like a paste. Now once again, this is this is the living with Phyllis style. I have never seen anybody from Louisiana <laughs> use their filet and okra to make a paste. I have not seen it. And remember, I had also some of the um, the fat from the hot link sausages, and we dump it in our gumbo pot. And now we're going to lightly brown the chicken. Yep. I'm not putting this in the gumbo pot because I'm going to do that once I put the roux and the liquid in. And then I'll submerge it in the liquid. Add a little more avocado oil. And have literally turned the heat to two really low because the skillet is so hot and the trick to the roux is to do it slow so here's a cup of about a cup of flour we're basically cooking the flour y'all cooking the flour and I'm basically cooking the flour and making the roux I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder. I do like seasoning my roux. And a little bit of ground black pepper. Okay, it's starting to go fast now. See how that's brown? And it goes from brown to dark brown so quick, y'all. So you just make sure it doesn't stand too long. I'll put just a little more olive oil. Helps it from not scorching. <laughs> See how it's getting dark, y'all? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so now to stop the cooking and the browning of the roux, we immediately put in our chicken stock. No salt adding. Oh, that's so beautiful, y'all. Look at that beautiful. Oh, yes. Look how thick it gets. 
Now at this stage, I'm going to put a little bit of um, gumbo filet in the actual roux. Into our gumbo pot it goes. <laughs> oh, it's like velvet. It's like velvet. It's like velvet. <laughs> broth. Um, of course, you can finish this with broth. And we're basically filling up the whole pot. Remember, this is going to actually be two pots of gumbo. You can see some of that slime already. <laughs> wow, this is the basis for gumbo, y'all. So we'll put the chicken in now. And then let it simmer. All right, we'll be back. We will be back. Gumbo, gumbo, gumbo. <laughs> Love y'all. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. See. <laughs> Look at the gumbo, y'all. Look at the gumbo. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Does that look good and smells good? All right. Take We'll take half of this and put it into another pot, and then we'll add the seafood seasoning to this one and let them both simmer. We're gonna add clam juice. I have some seafood stock that I had in the freezer. So just remember, y'all, you can make your own stock and put it in the freezer. That way, you, there's no salt. So I'm adding that in. All that goodness. Okay, now we're gonna get the shrimp and crab ready, and I'm gonna just do butter. And season it with butter and the oil from the gumbo, parsley and garlic. Yummy! All right, we'll be back, we'll be back! Gumbo, we're doing it. We're on the finish line. All we gotta do is do the rice, rice, the fit. Deep. Look at that, y'all. What are you talking about? Can you see the salt, the hot links? That plump, colossal shrimp. The Dungeness crab. Mmm. What? All right, come on. Here we come. The sausage and chicken gumbo, y'all. You see that gumbo? You see the sausages and the sausage. Mm 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 mm. Y'all, what are you talking about? Look at that. We did this, y'all. We did this. All right. Come on. Look at that. Crab, sausage, chicken. <laughs> What's that, a shrimp? Is that a shrimp's? <laughs> Is that another shrimp? Come on, let's get another shrimp out there. What you talking about? Look, come on, what you talking about? We're doing another shrimp, come on. What, 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 what? <laughs> Silly. All right, all right. Now we just add a little bit of rice, y'all. Look at that. Mm, before we add the rice, look at that. What you talking about? Let's, let's do a little parsley to make it all pretty, y'all. You know how we do it. Cooking from the food bank. Cooking from the food bank. All right, now y'all, I'll be honest with you. I like my gumbo just like this and sop it up with bread. But since I took the time to fix the rice that we get from the food bank, I'll just put it on the side right here. Just a little bit. All right, y'all. That's how I like it. That's how I like it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Let's start with the shrimp. Now, I left the shell on so I can suck it. <laughs> you guys hear me? <laughs> mm, can you see that? 
One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Look, y'all. <laughs> oh, this is so good, y'all. Just a little bit of that rice. Look at that. Got the sausage and the chicken. We skip the chicken wings if you want to. I cooked it down so much that they kind of dissolve. So you could save money and just use rotisserie chicken, link sausage, hot sausage, and dewy sausage. And for the seafood, just shrimp and crab. And if you don't have the crab or can't afford it, you can just do shrimp. All right, y'all, happy combo, happy cooking. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We did it, y'all, we did it. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Bye-bye. Be well. Be safe. Love each other. Give yourself grace. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you.